Hello everyone and welcome to this project. In this project, we look at data analysis and visualization of IMDB movies data. We'll work with the data set and try to answer the following questions. What's the average movie duration? We'll sort movies based on the duration. We'll see how many movies have ratings. We'll remove no values from some of the columns and replace those no values with some value. We'll see what the top rated movies are. And we'll see the relationship between ratings and duration. We'll answer some more questions, but these are the main questions that we'll be answering while working on the IMDB movies data. I got the data set online and I have saved it in a CSV file, IMDB rating that CSV, and I stored it where my Jupyter Homebook directory is located. As usual, we start by importing the libraries and modules that we need. I copied this from one of the previous lectures. You can do the same or you can simply type it. Let's use pandas read CSV method to see our movies data. Let's do that. So pd dot read CSV and we pass the file name which is I saved it as imbd underscore rating dot CSV and I'll store this in a variable let's say movies data frame so let's see what it looks like movies data frame dot head okay, this is what the data frame looks like we have star rating title content rating genre duration and then actors list And if I call the tail method, I can see the bottom five rows. Movies data frame that tail. So we have close to 980 movies, right? 980. We can also use the shape method to find out the number of rows and columns of our data frame. Let's do that. So we have our movie data frame, that shape. So we have 979 rows and six columns. Let's go back to my question, to the questions. And let's start with calculating the average movie duration. We can simply do that by calling the mean method. So we have our movies data frame, that duration, that's the column. We have duration column here, and then we want to calculate the mean or average duration. So we can simply use the mean method. Okay, so that's the average movie duration. That's pretty long, right? 121 minutes. Now let's sort our movies data frame by this duration. So we'll use the sort method on our movies data frame. Movies data frame that sort and we want to sort it by duration. So we'll pass duration. Let's save this in a variable called movies sorted m sorted well, this is just a warning don't worry about it so movies sorted if i call the head method so those are the shortest movies 64 minutes 66 minutes and so on if we pass the tail method we'll see the longest movies so here we have 220 minutes to 24 minutes, right? 
and 242 that's the longest movie we can also visualize this on a histogram let's plot it and see this distribution on a histogram okay so we have our movie data frame and then we'll be plotting duration so that duration and then we'll use the plot method and then we'll pass the kind as histogram and then let's pass number of pins as 25 let's run it and see so this is the histogram of the movie duration here we see that most of the movies have a duration between 100 and around 140 between 100 and 140 minutes that's the average movie duration let's pass color as red and number of pins as 35 and run it again i'm missing a comma here run it again we can also visualize this using a box plot by passing box instead of hist let's do that movies data frame that duration that plot and we'll pass box as the kind and here we see the median around 120 and then we see the different quartiles one two three and four and that's the range of duration great next let's look at this content rating column okay let's start by counting how many content ratings that we have and then we'll visualize the content rating on a graph let's do that so we can use the value counts method to find out how many of those movies have content rating so we have our movies data frame and then we'll be using the content rating column and then we simply pass the value counts method so here we have rated r 460 counts pg 13 189 and so on these are the different kinds of content ratings and the value counts how many of those movies are rated with this content rating type let's visualize this on a bar graph so we have our movies data frame content rating and we'll be plotting the value counts right so we'll pass the value counts method and then we'll call the plot method on it the other thing you can do is you can simply save this in some variable for instance let's say x you can save this in some variable let's say x and then you can simply say x dot plot you can also do that or this is the other way movies data frame that content rating time that value counts that plot so i'll show you both ways and then we'll use bar so i'll pass bar as a kind and then we can pass a title bar that's optional if you want some title i'll just pass content rating of movies let's run it okay content rating of movies and these are the content rating types and we have frequency on the y-axis or in this case which is number of movies and we can also label our x and y axis by passing the x label and y label methods let's do that so we can say plt that x label so that's the x axis that will be our content rating plt that x label and that will be our number of movies let's run that again oh this should be y label run it again 
good we have content rating on the x-axis and number of movies on the y-axis hello everyone and let's continue with our discussion so here we could have also then x is equal to movies data frame that content rating that value comes and then we can simply say x dot plot good here we have the different content rating types and then number of movies what we'll do next is replace this content ratings approved not rated G and so on so we'll replace those two unrated movies and then we'll replace uh, TV MA and X into NC17 rating type let's do that so we have our movies data frame we'll be looking at the content rating column and we'll use the replace method to replace some ratings with a different rating content rating so we'll replace approved approved 